We all know the technique for individual peace, transcendental meditation, and individual peace is the basis for world peace. Inside we feel more relaxed and tolerant. Peace is growing in the individual. Let's see what happens in our mind during transcendental meditation. כאן אנו רואים את קליפת המוח הקדמית והאמיגדלה. קליפת המוח הקדמית נעשית יותר פעילה. זהו לוח הבקרה לתפקודים גבוהים יותר. בו בזמן האמיגדלה נעשית פחות פעילה. זהו מרכז הפחד השולט על התגובה של להתקיף או לברוח. בשקט הטרנסצנדנטלי יכולת שיפוטית גבוהה יותר מתחילה לגבור על תגובות של לחץ. So, meditators develop a more balanced brain functioning. They show less stress and higher moral behavior. Mind and body become peaceful. זה מתבטא בעלייה בסדר בגלי המוח במדיטציה, בכל התדרים ובכל חלקי המוח. המשמעות היא שכל חלק במוח עובד בשיתוף פעולה עם כל חלק אחר בצורה המסודרת ביותר. We all know this experience as pure consciousness. It is an experience of a deep inner peace. This is the formula for creating peace on an individual level. But does it imply that everybody has to meditate if we want peace on a larger scale? מוח יחיד שמתפקד בהרמוניה הוא היחידה של חברה שלווה ועולם שלו. כדי שהיער יהיה ירוק, כל העצים צריכים להיות ירוקים. This seems logical, but how can we teach 7 billion people to meditate? ב-1975 התגלתה תופעה מדעית יוצאת דופן. כאשר רק אחוז אחד של האוכלוסייה לומד את המדיטציה, נטיות שליליות פוחתות ונטיות חיוביות גדלות. הסטטיסטיקות היו מובהקות. רמות הפשיעה, התחלואה והתאונות פחתו. הכלכלה, הבורסה ומספר הבקשות לרישום פטנטים גדלו. ניתן למצוא את האפקט של אחוז אחד גם בטבע. למשל, מוד ברזל נעשה ממוגנת כאשר רק אחוז אחד של המולקולות מכוונות בצורה מסודרת. So with 1% of the population meditating, we can create a peaceful society. In addition, we also create a perfect system of protection against all sorts of negative influences. To understand this, we can look at a phenomenon that physicists call במערכת רגילה יש הרבה אנטרופיה, אי סדר והתנגדות. אולם מערכת בעלת סדר מרבי הופכת להיות מוליך על. הסדר המושלם הקיים בתוך מוליך העל מונע חדירה של כל אי סדר. בו בזמן הוא יוצר סביב המערכת שדה של הגנה שלא מאפשר לשום אי סדר חיצוני לפגוע בזרימה של המערכת. המערכת הופכת להיות בלתי מנוצחת. זהו אפקט מייזנר. In terms of people and countries, when 1% of the population meditates, the country becomes invincible. It no longer allows any negative influence from inside or outside. על ידי שימוש בטכנולוגיה הזאת, כל אומה יכולה ליצור שיטת הגנה אידיאלית ולחולל השפעה מתמשכת של שלום כלפי שכנותיה. סוף סוף קיימת נוסחה מוכחת מדעית ליצירת שלום בחברה. בואו ניקח מדינה, לדוגמה בלגיה, עם אוכלוסייה של עשרה מיליון אנשים. אנו זיקוקים למאה אלף מתרגלי מדיטציה כדי ליצור שלום. So there's still a long way to go. But in 1976, Maharishi introduced the TM City program, and that changed everything. עם תוכנית הסידים של המדיטציה, מספיק רק שורש ריבוי של אחוז אחד מהאוכלוסייה, 
כדי לקבל את אותה ההשפעה. זאת בתנאי שהם מתרגלים במקום אחד. אז קבוצה של 317 סידאים המתרגלים במקום אחד יוצרת אותה השפעה שיוצרים 100 אלף מודדים. בפיזיקה של הצלילים האפקט הזה ידוע כהתהפכות קונסטרוקטיבית. כאשר משלבים שלושה גלי קול בעלי תדר זהה, העוצמה גדלה באופן ריבועי. הגל שנוצר הוא פי תשע יותר חזק. This extended Maharshi effect at last gives us a practical solution for world peace. We only need the square root of 1% of the world's population, which works out to be just 9,000 peace experts. World peace can be a permanent reality. Research has proven that this technology works. Over 50 studies have demonstrated its effectiveness to an exceptionally high level of reliability. Let's examine one strong case. In Washington, in the United States, in 1993, there were many of the Sidaims to prove the peace of peace, and as a result, the peace of peace was 23%. You can actually train a group in a very powerful stress-reducing technology of TM, pretty easily, of course. And you can do that, for example, in the middle of Lebanon during the peak of the Lebanon War. It only took several hundred to start to notice an effect. But scientifically, you create the group, you remove the group. You create the group, you remove the group. You have them there for two days, they're, missed, they're gone for three. You have them back, and you watch the level of war fighting, war deaths, war injuries, rise and fall in very strong correlation to the number of people who are creating peace and dissolving stress in the collective consciousness. When you've published 40 or 50 studies like that, you end up building up evidence that is really beyond irrefutable. There's never been an approach that has been studied as carefully and has been demonstrated to be so powerful. The effects can actually be felt very, very soon. Even better. Modern science can explain the underlying mechanics. But even in ancient times, this knowledge was available. Maharishi Patanjali covea ba sefer Yoga Sutrot. Bekirvat ha-yoga, mesulakot ha-nitiyot ha-oinot. So how do we bring together a group of 9,000 for world peace? Maharishi created a group of Vedic pundits and a beautiful campus in the center point of India to accomplish this ultimate goal. A Vedic pundit. Veda, Vedic, means knowledge, the total knowledge of natural law, and pundit means an expert. Maharishi created this group in India. Why India? India has two great practical values. First, the pundits actually come from there. Second, it's so much more cost-effective than doing it at most other places around the world. What does a Vedic pundit do? The Vedic pundits have two specialties every day. Yoga, which means meditation, and Yajna. What is Yajna? Yajna is action for evolution. And in this case, it's action, specifically Vedic performances or recitations, which are done for the welfare of the whole world, for the peace, prosperity, harmony. They recite specific Vedic expressions from that silent field, the unified field of all the laws of nature, and those sounds which they're reciting are those fundamental organizing sounds of nature itself to create that powerful positive influence for the world. If it is traditional, why do we already not have world peace? Because we've stopped taking advantage of this fabulous technology. If we enliven it again, we're going to have peace for the world. So can we do a specific yajna for world peace? We have to do specific yajnas for world peace. We're doing one now, Ati Ruja Bishek, 1,331 Maharshi Vedic Pandits at the Brahmastan or center point of India. And what we want to do, we want to have three times that group every day doing this Ati Ruja Bishek. What is the ultimate goal? Really what we want to do is have the effect world needs it, we can do it, which is peace, harmony for the world. To do that, our goal in terms of pundit numbers 
we want to have now 9,000 Vedic Pandits at the Brahmastan of India. Thank you, Dr. Kaplan. Thank you. Teufa yogit ve yagyot hem hadavar hayachid sheachol ishmor et ha-toda olamit berama nitzchit shel chosen. אני רוצה להסיק מעתה והלאה מספרים גדולים ככל האפשר של פנדיטים ועדים. אבל אני צריך להיות בטוח שברגע שאני מעסיק אותם, יימצא המימון להמשיך ולתמוך בהם. מהרישי But that is still half the cost of a B2 bomber, which until now has proven unsuccessful at creating peace. כדי לתת לכם מושג על העלויות, תמיכה בפנדיט אחד עולה 250 דולר לחודש, כולל מגורים. השוו זאת למישהו באירופה, זה יהיה פי עשר יותר גבוה. At present, thousands of donors are supporting this dear project. Every month they contribute whatever amount of money is comfortable in their budget. All those small gifts together enable us to support a few thousand pundits. But we need 9,000 for a more powerful effect. So your contribution would be welcome and would bring us closer to our goal. The effect was just so powerful and so immediate on me. And I felt so many changes in my personal life. that I decided to be a regular donor. I think that this is a, an investment for me, a very good one. But then unexpected benefits occurred. I'm luckily a person that anyway enjoys quite some support of nature, but this has increased in a tremendous way, which I did not expect. To me, giving is an important part of receiving, and there's really no better way for me, or I think for anyone else for that matter, to give than to the pundits. Another large amount came to us during the year after we gave. So we decided to continue on a permanent monthly basis. But once I started donating for, the, for this project, I had great support of nature. And my dream was just to be working for peace for the world. And actually this dream became true and I'm just working for peace. Well, for me, the Global Peace Initiative is creating peace for every individual on Earth through peace. And that is something I can trust, because it's the most direct way to live permanently in a happy world. I can feel a huge amount of bliss and peace being created by the pundits. So I believe if we have a lot more pundits, we can create peace throughout the land and the world will become a better place. Now we live in a country, I'm from South Africa, which can be very smooth and very rough. But the rough things, they only happen when we're not having national yagyas. You can see it. If it can actually create world peace, then donating to that is greater than anything else you could donate to. I always get a great sense of satisfaction in the knowledge that my small contribution is making a big difference in the world, and there's nothing greater than that. This is the overall experience of most of the sponsors. It gives a real boost to their personal evolution. So try it yourself. Start with an amount that seems comfortable to you and see what happens. But one thing, please do it on a monthly basis. This creates stability for probably one of the most important projects of mankind and it brings you lasting blessings of all the laws of nature. <laughs>